High Definition, broadcasting live from 12 studios. This is News 12 at 6 p.m. The charge is going to be for uh, sexual assault of a child. A man who used to uphold the law now charged with breaking it. Welcome to News 12 at 6. I'm Maureen Kane. Scott's off tonight. Yesterday, a man in charge of enforcing the law for years in Sherman was arrested himself. Allison Harris spoke to his defense attorney today, as well as the spokesperson for the Sherman Police Department. She joins us now live from the Grayson County Jail with more. Allison. Maureen, former Sherman Police Chief Stephen Charles Pilant was arrested for the sexual assault of a child. The 71-year-old who was police chief from 1988 to 1994 was arrested at his home yesterday just before noon. Pilant's attorney says Pilant's recent medical diagnosis could have had an effect on the alleged offense. A warrant was issued yesterday and Mr. Pilant was picked up at his residence uh, yesterday before noon. Uh, the charge is going to be for uh, sexual assault of a child. That's the only comment Sherman Police Department would make regarding the arrest of its former police chief, Stephen Charles Pilant, or Chuck Pilant. Pilant's defense attorney, know, Bob Jarvis, know. went into yeah, a little so more detail, definitely. revealing that Pilant's recent medical diagnosis could change how the case develops. Now he's got Alzheimer's, and as a lot of people know that's been affected by that disease. It changes people dramatically. We're going to spend a lot of time trying to figure out if anything did happen and what effect the Alzheimer's could have had for that. Pilant was police chief from 1988 to 1994. Not only has he served the community, he also served in the military. But a look into online court records reveals that Pilant has had some run-ins with the law in his past, including being arrested for driving while intoxicated and public intoxication during his last year as police chief. Still, Jarvis says his main concern right now is getting more information on Pilant's medical state. We're going to have to do a lot more investigating to try to figure out if anything happened and if something did, whether or not the Alzheimer's played a role in it. After being arrested, Pilant was booked into the Grayson County Jail right behind me. He was released just two hours later on a $10,000 surety bond. And we'll bring you the latest details as they become available. We're live in Sherman. Allison Harris, News 12.